2024 July 6. Daily Bread Passage. John chapter 18 verse 1 to 11. Key verse. Verse. Title. Shall I not drink the cup? When he had finished praying, Jesus left with his disciples and crossed the Kidron Valley. On the other side there was a garden, and he and his disciples went into it. Now Judas, who betrayed him, knew the place, because Jesus had often met there with his disciples. So Judas came to the garden, guiding a detachment of soldiers and some officials from the chief priests and the Pharisees. They were carrying torches, lanterns and weapons. Jesus, knowing all that was going to happen to him, went out and asked them, Who is it you want? Jesus of Nazareth, they replied. I am he, Jesus said. And Judas the traitor was standing there with them. When Jesus said, I am he, they drew back and fell to the ground. Again he asked them, Who is it you want, Jesus of Nazareth, they said. Jesus answered, I told you that I am he. If you are looking for me, then let these men go. This happened so that the words he had spoken would be fulfilled, I have not lost one of those you gave me. Then Simon Peter, who had a sword, drew it and struck the high priest's servant, cutting off his right ear. The servant's name was Malchus. Jesus commanded Peter, put your sword away. Shall I not drink the cup the Father has given me? The soldiers and some religious leaders came to the Kidron Valley with Judas Iscariot the betrayer to arrest Jesus. Although Jesus knew about his painful trials ahead, he stepped forward with courage and calmness. Jesus asked them to let his disciples go. Jesus is the good shepherd who laid down his life for his sheep. Jesus protects and cares for his people even when they fail him in their weakness. Peter struck the high priest's servant with a sword, cutting off his right ear. Peter, as brave as he was, did not help the situation. It was against God's will. Jesus stopped Peter's rescue plan because he had resolved to drink the cup that the Father had given him. The cup was his ultimate mission of offering himself as the sacrifice for our sins. Because Jesus drank the cup for us, we now enjoy the gift of his salvation. It is human nature to save ourselves, but God's life-giving work can be done only as we drink the cup that God has given us. We are here to live a life of mission from God not by joining in the sword fight, but by drinking the cup. Peter drank the cup later, carried out his mission, and glorified God. Prayer Lord, thank you for taking the cup of death for us. Help me take up my cross and partake in your redemption work. One word. Join in Jesus' spiritual fight.